Breakfast Club, bitches. You're a donkey. Yes, uh, donkey of the day for th- no, no, no. donkey of the day. <clears throat> okay. You all right? Yes, mm-hmm. I am. Donkey of the day for Thursday, August 15th goes to the UFC's Conor McGregor. Uh, is it safe to say at this point that Conor McGregor is a terrible human being? Yes. Uh, for years, I didn't know if it was an act, if he was just, you know, acting a certain way to sell fights, to sell his brand. But nah, I think... I think Conor McGregor is really just a trash-ass human. I always say, if you want to see the true character of a person, watch how they treat people who can't do anything for them. That will tell you all you need to know. And this story tells you all you need to know about Conor McGregor. Uh, if you're watching us on Revolt TV, then it will make it easier for me to explain this story. See, okay. TMZ Sports has a video showing Conor McGregor in Dublin, Ireland, in a pub called the Marble Arch. Now, Conor walked in and did something uh he did something honorable. It's supposed to be nice, yeah. Yeah, he lined up cups for people at the bar, and he asked to buy a round of Proper 12 for everyone. Now, Proper 12 is a whiskey, and it's very important to note that it's a uh, it's an Irish whiskey founded by Conor McGregor himself. All right, The Proper 12 website says Proper 12 pays homage to our founder, Conor McGregor, in his neighborhood of Crumlin, Dublin 12. It embodies their shared spirit of brotherhood, loyalty, and hard work. As Conor says, it is a proper Irish whiskey, and 12 is my hometown. Well, I didn't see no brotherhood in this video because Connor poured a shot for everyone, which is brotherly, and one man opted out. He said, no, nah, I'm good. Now, I know turning down a shot can be considered rude, but what if I don't drink what you drink? Hmm. What if I know my tolerance levels and I've already had enough? What if I've been drinking something else and I don't want to mix my liquor? What if I think proper 12 is nasty and I don't want it? Okay, nobody told you to pour me a shot. If I respectfully decline, give the shot to someone else. Well, that's usually fine uh, until you realize you're dealing with a man with a fragile ego. Okay, the male ego is very fragile. All right, and a fragile male ego is an imminent threat to us all. Let me tell you something I learned in therapy. Males may represent themselves as the strongest, hardest, toughest beings alive. Oh, yes, we do. We act like we don't care about a thing. But the reality is the male ego and self-esteem are largely affected by small changes in the environment. Okay, just small changes in our ecosystem. All right, the inability of a man to perform well can irritate the ego. So add the fact that Conor McGregor hasn't been doing great when it comes to fighting. Uh, He's lost his last couple of fights. Things like that take a mental toll on you. All right? Your mental health is affected by things like that. And it can bring your self-esteem to a halt. And that's what happened to Conor in this pub. Conor is just tired of losing. Conor is tired of being rejected. All right? When you're losing, people are not embracing you like they do when you're winning. So when your ego is already fragile and you experience uh, more rejection, you may react violently. And that's exactly what happened. An old man. I don't know how old he is, but he's old. Look at him. Look at him on the video. Silver hair, wrinkles, probably hasn't had an erection in years. He told Conor McGregor, no, I don't want the shot. And after Conor downed his shot with the other drinkers, he threw a left hand. Mm. and snuffed the old man who rejected his shot. Old man got to be close to 80 years old. Come on, man. Two people immediately grabbed McGregor after he snuffed his 97-year-old and they pulled him out of the bar. Now, I'm giving Conor McGregor donkey of the day for two reasons. One, punching an old man simply because of Conor's fragile male ego, you know, just because his, his ego was hurt, you know. And two, you threw a solid left hand. A sucker punch, a cheap shot after downing a whiskey shot on an old man sitting on a stool. And the old man didn't even flinch. The old man didn't fall off the stool. Nothing. I don't know who Conor McGregor is fighting next. Maybe it's Nate Diaz. Maybe it's Jose Aldo. Maybe a rematch with Khabib, last name I can't pronounce. But whoever he fights is going to whip his ass if that's the kind of sucker-ass weak punches he's throwing, all right? You couldn't knock a drunk old man off a stool with your left hand, and your left hand was supposed to be your most, most notorious punch. Your left hand... Nowadays, it's just like your whiskey. It's a weak-ass shot. And that's why the old man didn't want any of it. All right? Please give Conor McGregor the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. Yee-haw. All right. I'm not even interested in watching him fight. Like, you know how sometimes you want to see bad guys get beat up? Yeah. Like, I don't even care because I've seen him get beat up before. I just, I'm just not interested. You're in over him. him. Yes. <laughs> donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.